Hi guys, how's it going? And um, welcome back to the uh, the Bloodborne playthrough. Uh, now we're just going to do some uh, like catch up stuff. So we're going to check on the NPCs and go to the uh, another optional area again. Uh, this is uh, above the cathedral because we picked up that gem earlier, which is going to add a lot of damage. Yeah, it's like a star one. So if we find like the lowest damage in one out of these top two, which is going to be the first one. And then we get attack up plus 18%. That's a huge damage increase. Let's take that. Boom. Go check on those NPCs, see how they're doing. If they've progressed at all. Oh. Some things are changing. Um, okay, so. Should feel a bit worse for wear. as the tips now it starts as uh, so i think uh, i have a chair of voice there's more solutions i think we can do this again Ooh, some more sedatives Okay, so we, uh, we can get like set it off her uh, three times. Uh, and that's how uh, it kind of gets her next bit to, to go ahead. But she's run out, so uh, she'll wander off and get some more later on. Uh, she's having some pains. And what's she doing? Have a little laugh about it. I think these like progress, like the next bit of progression is after we kill uh, Murgo. Eileen, uh, did we kill Eileen? Or did we kill the. Uh, blood file guy I don't know anyway let's go have a look see if anything's changed I think I want to uh, I had a look at this last time and nothing had, uh, had happened I might have already passed that point where you can do it um, I think you need to do all that stuff before uh, Bergenworth oh no it's for right now So we head up these steps to find Eileen. Oh, is that you again? I'm afraid I've made a bit of a blunder. I'm just going to have a short rest. Though, don't worry. I've taken blood, enough to save an old woman. No more dreams for me. This is my last chance. What a fool I am. I'll have to tread carefully. But that thing still lies in wait. Turn back. This is my score to settle. Wait. 
My prey lies in wait this way. Turn back. My prey turn. Um, <clears throat> okay. So this is the final there. Uh, final battle for Eileen. She's uh, she took a, beat, a bit of a beating, taking a rest. And there's there's two outcomes that we can do for this. Um, I think if we if we come back at this point, uh, Eileen's had a go. She's been defeated, and we have a uh, the enemy who defeated her to face. Um, I think if we leave it till later, she's defeated him and we fight her. I'm not sure what the four differences are, but I think if we defeat this guy, we get a new weapon. Um, like one good really one good thing to have on this is going to be a uh, numbing mist. Throw to create a mist of cloud that numbs a hunter's life essence and prevents restoration of HP. Said to be used by the blood hunters of Kanehurst. Its recipe is a secret closely guarded by the line of nobles inhabiting the castle. So we're going to put that on the bar because that's going to be pretty useful for this fight. Um, yeah, we've got this this guy over here. Should we do we some buffs? Let's do some buffs. And get ready with a numbing mist. Oh, we get annihilated. What the fuck? It's really fast as well. I don't know if we can get that numbing mist on him. Wow, it's that shot. And the parry. Fuck me. Oh shit. Oh, the visceral. Fuck. That little, like, if he gets the visceral, it's ended. We got the heal off and fucking killed me. There it is. It's over. Fucking Jippo. Let's go, bro. Oh, and it's over. Fuck you. It's that is breaking the guard. It's fucking breaking the guard, man. When it's not. Fuck that. Just uh, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> do 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 do. You charged. He just shoots. There's a charged. I mean, it fucks you up, man. That was one slice. One slice of pizza. Wait, exactly what I was saying though. Let's get those viscerals in. And then move away when he does that. Okay, not the worst battle. Just get him to... Attack first. Back in. So we want to get those 
Oh, let's put it away again. Fuck, going for the double shot. He's doing it straight away as well. He's trying to get those there. He's trying to finish this. He's trying to finish it quickly as well. But I'm going to the point where he's healed yet either, so... What am I doing? I could have got some then. So if we play it smart, take our time. <laughs> I say play it smart. Fucker. Okay. I'm just so slow with that. Fuck. What a waste. Oh, use your blood sword, man. Use your blood sword. I've, I've like literally, I've got no grip left on my thumbstick anymore. There we go. Go on to it. Wow. If we miss that though, pretty much dead. Let's keep the pressure on. Who's keeping the pressure on who, though? <laughs> He's waiting. He's waiting to get that parry in. You can just see it there. I'm surprised it hasn't healed yet. Thought of him. Perfect time. Oh man, he's down. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus, that guy was hard. <laughs> blood drag. And blood rapture. Uh, yeah, we've got the blood drag because we're with the vile bloods at the minute. Um, uh, blood rapture. So we got the the more powerful one of this. So Visor attacks restore uh, 300 HP. Um, yeah, so that guy pretty hard. So if, if you're ever having trouble with this, you can do the uh, kind of um, the cheese strat. It is really long, but um, it seems to work all the time. Just don't get worried if he does heal. He does that um, once he gets past certain HP thresholds. I think like 50% and then 50% and 75% I should say that so it'll heal up twice but pull him all the way down to the bottom of the stairs until he starts backing off and then run all the way to the end in that corner and just stay there wait for him to walk all the way back um, if he's not walking back he hasn't lost aggro and then he needs to try again but then just wait for him to get there just walk out get a backstab and then when he's getting up you can get a few more attacks in if you if you want to risk it I did that I got parried and one shot um uh but yeah if you just want to attack him i mean kind of play it um kind of that way when he gets his when he powers up his sword and goes two-handed when the blood starts coming off it kind of back up and try and get a uh a parry with his slower attacks um when he puts it away go back in and pressure him but don't hack away just dodge round, get a slash off, dodge, slash, try and keep that momentum. Um, cause yeah, when it's fast rolling, he will uh, parry you and one shot you. So, um, yeah, well, that's that bit done anyway. That's that MP. So I don't have anything to say. Don't you ever listen to your elders? No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be apt for this life anymore. My glory days were 
long ago now. Hmm. I know. Here. For you. <sighs> Hunter and Crow and Tabach. This too is Hunter's work. But it bears no honor. A burden you may choose to carry. The decision is yours alone. Oh. My eyes grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. You on just take a last few breaths. Um, yeah, what did we get? We got um, Hunter, uh, Rune Sign of the Hunter of Hunters. Uh, this red smudged rune means Hunter and has been adopted by those who have taken the Hunter of Hunters oath. These watchmen admonish those who have become adult with blood. Be they men or beasts, anyone who has threatened the pledges of the Hunter Oath surely has an issue with blood. And that's stamina recovery speed up. So that's always a nice one to have. Um, I think I might be changing that as well. Uh, Crow Hunter Badge. A uh, badge of a hunter of hunters who hunts those who have become adult with blood. The badge of the hunter of hunters is quietly passed down from generation to generation usually to an outsider from the hinterlands. To be entrusted with this cursed badge, one must be strong, resilient, one must be strong, resilient to the seduction of blood and gracious when taking a comrade's, comrade's life. So that means we can get some new weapons. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of, that's all this area. I'm done, that finishes off Eileen's quest line. Good stuff. Um, I might. I'm gonna go back just before the ending to see if anything's changed. I don't think we've just got anything else uh, to do there. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna equip this rune right now because it's a really good one to have. There will always be music in here. Uh, continuous heal, no death plus one. So we have that one. We change it first. Stamina, recovery speed up. Yes. Yes. Um, well, let's have a look at that here. The badge. Let's see what arms we can get with that. Let's see what weapons. Uh, Blaze of Mercy, 40,000. Like these are like I haven't been to check on here, but like with each badge unlocks new weapons in the in the shop in the uh, in the little bowl here in the hunter's dream. Uh, so I'm assuming we just got Chicago and Blades of Mercy from this badge. Um, Chicago scales off everything, so this is going to be like one of my playthroughs in like one of the last playthroughs, probably like plus six or plus seven. I want to do on this game. With like hopefully max or near max stats, that should be pretty good. Um, yeah, cool. All right, let's carry on into this other optional area, which I haven't done yet. So back to Cathedral Ward. The Hunter of Hunters. Um. Oh, things have started to happen. Where's the old lady gone? Hold on, just wait a wee bit, my little dairy. Do we find out what happens to it just yet? Uh, no, 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 no. So she's, uh, she's gone out searching for more sedatives to give us. Maybe we'll find out what happens to her a bit later. 
Um, but yeah, like from the point where it all changes, I think if you keep coming back, little things progress. I'm going to have to deal with my little child for a minute. I'll uh, be right back. Okay, let's continue. So, she going to say anything? Uh, so just hers has moved on a little bit, uh, but as we keep coming back to the place, like every night, keep checking on it, then things are gonna change slowly. Um, so we'll, we'll go up here, do this optional area, and then come back. And then something else might have happened. I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering if I should have came in, uh... <laughs> I'm getting annihilated by those guys. Um... If I should, like, come here after I get the weapon upgrade? But no, I think we're good anyway. So that probably like, uh, that blood fire, uh, what's his name? There's something of Kanehurst. Um, I think it was probably the hardest thing we're gonna fight for the rest of the main campaign. Where's the big guy? There he is. Hey. And then up the ladder. Did we go either side of this? Because there's nothing there. So I don't know why. Ladders on the outside. Um, Okay, so we're at the top of the stairs again. <clears throat> um, where we've been before. And now we have the upper cathedral key, we can get in here. And we've got some new uh, enemies to face. <laughs> These little things. Um, <clears throat> Blue elixir. Uh, so it depends on how much insight you got. The, the guys with the lanterns. I think this, this might not actually be true of insight. This just might be a change in their uh, attacks. But they're starting to do some different attacks with their lamp. Like the the brain sucker guys. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I was gonna say it's easier if you just kind of like run past uh, these. Let's get some. <laughs> what the fuck? in the background. Uh, but th this bit looks like it was uh, going to be part of the game, but they just kind of didn't do anything with it. Um, okay. <laughs> so yeah, th those guys are a little bit harder. 